Hey guys, it's Jacob Gunner. Welcome back from Earthbound. I decided just to take the liberty of going back to Ness's place rather than, you know, showing you the whole process of getting back here after we did that glitch. But anyway, let's go into Ness's house. Ah, let's talk to King. Other ducks haven't figured it out yet, but I know that you guys saved the world. Eh, other dogs are stupid. Oh, my dog is small heart. Anyway, let's talk to our mom. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. Thank you, I wish my mom would realize that sometimes. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Yeah, she basically tells you that you're probably going to want to talk to everyone. Uh, here the phone rings. Hello? Isn't this Ness's residence? This around? Ah, you're Ness, right? It's me, the tough businessman. Yes, if you actually ask the businessman in uh, Deep Darkness to pay the uh, tab for you on the doctor uh, for you, you'll actually get this message at the end of the game, which you never really see if you don't. Remember from Deep Darkness? I never got the money back that you borrowed, but lucky you, I bumped into your dad and he paid the debt for you. Ah, oh, what a nice father. I just wanted to let you know. Gotta go now. Busy, busy, busy. Slam. Beep. Ah, such a great dad. Let's also, let's call our dad in the meantime. Hi. It's your dad. To get to the next level? Ha 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 I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Yeah, he doesn't really need to tell us. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear them all about it. I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll be seeing you at home then. Bye. Click. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Let's talk to Mom. Did you finish doing everything you wanted to do? Yes. Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experience with me. You did so well. Now this part's kind of creepy, actually, but... It's the end. Yeah, they just walk in place. Hmm. <laughs> And now here comes one of the coolest songs in the whole game. I got Tracy comes down and she joins us walking in place. And now this is so cool. It's this awesome song. Remix the Runway 5. We get to see the cast of characters we met. Pokey's family. Picky, Lardna, Aloysius, and Pokey. Buzz Buzz. I like this. There's little animations right there, like Pokey pops it next to Lyra, exaggerate, and takes the mani knight. Or does he? Oh no, I guess he doesn't. Lyra, exaggerate. Frank Fly, the sharks. And a lot of these guys in here are doing funny stuff that reminds you of stuff they did on the adventure. There's BH Perkle, Captain Strong, went at Police Force. Check this out. Paula's mom and dad. Paula herself with a teddy bear, just like she was when we got her. This is going to bring back some memories. There's Orange Kid. And check out this Apple Kid with his mouse. Ah, Orange Kid, you were so useless in the end. Ah, you suck. Everdred! The Runaway Five! Whatever happened to their sixth member who's the keyboardist? I don't know. Check out this, the Happy Happiest. I bet that means Carpenter and Pokey are next. Yep, Manny Manny Statue. Basically, wherever the Manny Manny Statue is, Pokey is. He's not far behind. It's basically just a really cool run through the game for you. Bubble Monkey, Tony and Maxwell, Tessie. The Tessie Watching Club. Yeah, they were awesome. I like the guy who's like, at long last, this is what we've been waiting for. It's finally coming out. There's Brick Road. There's Dr. Ananuts. And watch what happens to the Skyrun. It's pretty good. Huh? <laughs> just collapses. Jeff. Uh, there was a horn of life in that collapse machine, though. Mr. Saturn. It even says in the cool fonts. Right there. The phase Distorter. Being chased by Belch. <laughs> Master Belch. Here comes the cool part of the song. At least I think it is. George Montague is the cool part of the song. George Montague. Gerardo Montague, excuse me. There's Talarama and all oh, the monkeys. All oh, the monkeys. Geldegard Monodoli. There's Pokey in his rich snob outfit. Hey, Venus. I'm your Venus. I'm your hot... I don't know. Pooh. Pooh's master. The star master. Yeah, Pooh's just so badass, he needs to be trained by two masters. 
Dungeon Man and the Noble Warrior. My boy, this Noble Warrior is what all true warriors strive for. Attend to Tribesmen. Mr. Saturn, what the heck are you doing in there? A uh, note that I forgot to make is that Tenda aren't called Ten in the Japanese version, they're called Gummy. The Flying Men. Yeah, they're called Gummy in the Japanese version, the Tendas. And here we just see all the generic NPCs that we ran into. Doctors and nurses. There's Dad and King. Hell, like it's just Dad and it's a phone. This is Mom made love to a phone! Tracy, Ness, and Mom. This comes up, gives his peace sign one final time. Ah. And now... For the last time, ever. <laughs> Photo man. You gotta love him. He was obnoxious, but you just gotta love the guy. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut this here before the credits roll, okay? So, if you like this part, subscribe to videos up in the corner, big yellow button, give me a faster review, down this video. And be sure to my parts if you like this one. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Uh, this will be the final part next.